In this video, we're going to take a look at the New Look Tool Dial. Now, the New Look Tool Dial is essentially it's a helpful tool to save trips from traveling across your monitor, and it even allows you a way to adjust tools on screen. It's also a great way to customize your workflow, and finally, it's just a, a, a terrific companion to the New Look Navigator device if you own one. Now, the New Look Tool Dial is essentially it's a circular menu, and it appears on demand under your cursor. It's customizable, and it's got a special class of tools that allow you to select and adjust all in one motion. And then finally, it's totally configurable. So if you don't like the way a certain option in it works, you can go in there and you can change it. First, let's take a look at the on-demand behavior. And you can see here that if you look at my cursor, the tool dial launches right where my cursor is. So it pops up wherever my focus or wherever my attention is focused on. It's, again, it's very on-demand. It pops up where you need it. And I'll get to how you can launch it in just one second, but you can use just about any different keyboard shortcut or mouse shortcut that you want to. Now, as you look at the tool dial, it's a circular menu with eight customizable slices or, or cells, if you call them. And it's just a 20 pixel drag across this area here. So you can see if you've got a large monitor and you're tired of dragging all the way across the monitor to maybe select a certain tool, you can always assign that tool into the tool dial. And it's again, it's just a 20 pixel drag to go and select it. Let's take a look a little bit about launching the tool dial. Now, by default, for all CS2 applications, the shortcut is Control, Option, and the Spacebar key. But my suggestion here is to go into the tool dial configuration options and change this and make it your own, because that's it's really the only way this is going to work for you, is if you make the keyboard shortcuts your own. So let's do just that. We're going to go into the Applications folder here, and in there, go to Tool Dial. Once you click that, that's going to open up the New Look Tool Dial dialog box. And here's where you can make all the changes that you need to for your tool dials. The first thing you'll see up here at the top is Show. And we've got global tool dials because a tool dial is not just for an Adobe application. It works for your entire computer system here. So you can make them for your desktop. You can make them up here anywhere. But since we're talking about uh, Adobe and Photoshop here, let's go down to Photoshop CS2. You can see here the tool dial menu shows that there's already a couple of tool dials for you. Now if you wanted to change that keyboard shortcut, just click under the shortcut here and just select the keyboard shortcut and then inside that text box there, just type whatever keyboard shortcut you want to make it. So maybe I'll change mine to um, Command H because may, perhaps I don't use that a lot inside of Photoshop. But you can change that really t just to be about anything that you want here inside of the tool dial configuration options. Now let's say you've used the tool dial inside of Photoshop and you've decided you're ready to start creating your own. It's actually really easy to do in here once you've got the tool dial configuration options open. And what you do is just click on the small plus button here and give your tool dial a name. So I'm just going to call mine custom tool dial. Once you do that, you're ready to start adding options to your tool dial here. So the way it works is actually really simple, and it's all kind of a live preview, which is really nice for here. And that is, if you see here on the left side, it shows you just what you can add into this tool dial. And on the right side is the actual tool dial itself. So you can see it's actually a live update. So let's say I want to maybe create a tool dial that's full of filters, and I want to put all my popular filters in here. So under menus, remember I've got Photoshop selected, so it's going to show me the Photoshop menus. So under menus, I'm going to go to filter, and maybe we want to add our uh, liquify filter here. Just click on it and just drag it over, and it positions itself right there. And maybe you want to, uh, let's say we come in here, add noise, and I use the reduce noise filter often, so maybe I want to come in here. We'll drag that one over as well. We can go under sharpen, and what? We'll drag some sharpen filters over here so I use smart sharpen often and I still use unsharp mask and oh maybe hey why not why well, the, the pattern maker over here too because no one uses that one but it's fun to add so you can see here this is how you would come in and you would add your your options to your tool dial but here's the thing is it's not just restricted to just taking filters from Photoshop you can come down here and you can see you've got all of your tools as well so you've got your brush tool 
cropping tool, dodge, any of the tools that you want to add in here, you can go ahead and add those. But it goes even further. You can actually add folders and executables into a tool dial as well. So if you can see, I've got a, a folder full of some photos I took here in Japan. Well, I can take that and drag that folder right into my tool dial and it adds it there. So it's a quick reference if there's a folder full of photos that I always want to get to. And finally, as I mentioned, you can add an executable executable application so maybe you want to add iTunes or Word or just about anything you can think of you can add it right into your tool dial and then it's there for you to be able to launch it quickly the great thing about creating your tool dials this way is that you're not just restricted to the eight slices that are in the center here if you take your mouse and you click and you hold down on one and just let go after a second you'll see that you get eight more slices so that it actually gives you more options to create your tool dials and you don't just get eight more slices for all of these you you get eight slices for each eight for each of one of the eight slices that are in the center I know it gets a little confusing but it's really not just for every slice in the center you can have eight more slices so that gives you a lot of options here when you're making your tool dials last thing I want to point out here is I mentioned this for the new look navigator and the same thing holds true if you go under the show menu in the dialog box here you'll see that you have the ability to export or import tool dial sets well, let's say you spent a lot of time creating a tool dial set and your buddy sees it and they want to they want to use that same one too well they don't have to create the same thing you can just come in here you can export it you can give them that file and they can import it right here and the same thing goes it's, it goes right in the opposite let's say somebody else has created a tool dial set and they give you the file you can just come right under the show menu and go to import tool dial set and you can import it good place to keep an eye out is logitech.com forward slash new look that's n-u-l-o-o-q and from time to time you'll find various tool dial sets on the website so in closing, thanks for watching this overview on using the new look tool dial. And again, make sure you visit logitech.com forward slash new look to get tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your tool dial.